So we're back in the reptile room once again and that is because we have a new little member in here. It's not a new pet, I've had him for a while. If you guys, you know, follow my channel, you know who he is and that is Medusa. So Medusa is finally in the reptile room. I'm gonna open up his cage so we can take a look inside and see what's going on in here. So for those of you who don't know, just a little backup story. Medusa is a rescue ball python that I took in last summer. Um, his name is Medusa because I thought he was a girl, turned out to be a boy. But he basically had a lot going on with him when I first got him and because of that he was in quarantine for a really really long time. He had to be treated for lots of different parasites, he had some infections and all of that. It was not a very good situation but thankfully with all of the treatment and patience and care that he's been getting over the past little while he has pretty well made a full recovery and he was finally ready to be moved into the reptile room. So this is his this cage here I'm gonna go ahead and give a little cage tour for you guys the cage isn't really I don't love it but it definitely is functional it works great for him he seems to really enjoy it but I would ideally like to change this up a little bit and get some more stuff going on in here because I like my ball python cages to be really full because it helps them feel secure. So starting over here is Medusa's favorite hide. I would say he's in here like 80% of the time and then he's probably in the other hide like 20% of the time. That's where he is right now. But he is usually in here. So this is just like a little rock hide. It does have a top and bottom so you can lift this up but he loves this hide. It's like a perfect fit for him so he hangs out in there a lot. In the back here we have this little fake graph and then we have this other plant just suction cupped to the glass there. If we move along the back there is this one fake plant. I have it just stuck in this styrofoam background so it's just kind of stuck in there right now. And then there is this piece of cork bark here. This is a relatively large piece so he can like climb over this. He can also go under it. He could hide under there if he wants to. So it definitely serves a few different purposes. Moving up to the front here is just some leaf litter. There's another piece of cork here. This one's just flat on the ground so he can't really hide under it but it does give him a nice surface to climb over. Having different textures in your animals cages for them to climb over really helps with shedding and stuff. If you have some like rougher surfaces it can help them shed. So that's there. Then back here, we just have another one of these fake grass plants, and then another one of these plants is stuck in the background. And then moving on to this side of the cage is this like fake plant here. This is a big one that I got at a craft store. His water dish is here. And then his other hide is right over here. This one's kind of hidden with like the plant and that piece of cork, but that's his other hide right there. And again, there is another piece of cork here. Uh, that he can climb on. He could kind of go under this one. There's not a ton of room underneath of it, but I mean, if he wanted to, he could. And then on the side here, we just have two more plant section cups there. So yeah, this is Medusa's cage. Like I said, it's not exactly how I would like it to be, but I think it's pretty decent. Uh, obviously, it does function well. He has multiple hiding spots, lots of things to climb over and explore. Uh, he's been in here for a few weeks now, actually. It just it has taken me a little while to get around to making this video. He's eaten perfectly, he shed once in here, so he's doing really, really well. I don't know how well you can really tell just from looking at him like this, but Medusa has gotten so much bigger. He was very underweight when I first got him and very, very stunted. And he's such a better size now. He's still small for his age. I mean, he is around five years old. But like I mentioned, he was stunted because of his previous care with his old owner. But he's doing so much better now. He's gotten so big and he's just doing amazing. Aren't you little dude? He's just such a wonderful little snake. He's the cutest. People always ask me what morph he is and the answer to that is a super cinnamon. And although he is beautiful and I love these guys, Super Cinnamon isn't really a morph that I support buying. 
as they do often have a lot of kinks in them. That's something they are known for. So because of that, I don't really support people buying them because the kinks can, in my opinion, affect their quality of life. Thankfully, Medusas are really minor, but some of them can have really, really severe kinks. So I took Medusa in as a rescue, so by getting him, I wasn't supporting any breeding of them or anything. So I'm okay with owning him, but it is not an animal that I would really be okay with like spending my money on and buying from a breeder or something like that. But overall, Medusa is doing so well. I don't know why he's just hanging out over here. You can see his little face up there, the absolute cutest snake in the world. But he's just doing really good and I really wanted to give you guys this update because, I don't know, you guys deserve to know what's going on with him. And you guys hardly ever get to see Rocky, my milk snake, because he's really shy, but I just noticed he's out right now. I've actually noticed him coming out more frequently recently, so maybe he's getting to be a little less shy. So I thought I would go ahead and film him quickly for you guys. There's his head right there. How you doing? Are you angry now? Yeah, he's not a big fan of people. Oh. I am sorry that I disturbed you. I will go ahead and close your cage. Yeah, this is why you guys don't see him that often. <laughs> He's not the nicest guy out there, aren't you? Who are you looking at like that? He's such a pretty snake though. And who do we have here? Hello, Titan. I've noticed Titan gaining a lot more confidence recently too. He used to be very, very shy. He still is fairly shy. You can see him kind of crawling away, but. He's definitely been more confident lately. I see him out a lot more often. He used to just hide constantly, but I do see him out more frequently, so that's really nice. It's always nice to see when your animals are more confident in themselves and like to explore around and enjoy their enclosures. Definitely really awesome. So just on the topic of snakes and all of these cages here, everyone is doing so so well if you guys like follow my channel and stuff you guys would have know this whole like shelving system is it's fairly new i only set it up like the end of last year i think around november but everyone is doing so well in their cages everyone's been eating great except for toby toby is my pickiest eater ever he's on a little bit of a strike right now but usually <laughs> he's okay but He's very picky, it's really frustrating, but everyone else is eating amazing, shedding great. Everyone seems really confident in their cages, which is super awesome. I recently made some changes on Willow's cage. I added a lot more to it. I gave her some more climbing spaces and I added in this custom background that I got from Universal Rocks. So this background has like some 3D ledges and stuff in it so she can climb on those which are super, super awesome. I have these in my leopard geckos cages. Uh, they sent me a few backgrounds and I really wanted to put one in her cage because she does like to climb a fair bit and she is just a tiny little snake. So I thought that she would really enjoy it. I haven't seen her on it yet but who knows, she mostly comes out at night when I'm asleep so. And there she is, the little angry snake herself. You guys probably can't really see her from all like the shadows and stuff. There she is. So angry. But yeah, I added a lot into her cage. There's like a lot of different wood and branches and stuff in here. It might seem super full, but I find they just love it that way. It gives them so much to explore. It's really good enrichment for them. They can climb under things, climb over them, hide in places. I think it's just really, really good for them to have a lot going on in their cage. So she seems to be enjoying it so far. I would think so. <laughs> Why are you so angry all the time? I mostly wanted to do this video just to show you guys that Medusa is now in here and give a little update on him. He's just doing really, really well and I'm so happy about it. You guys are probably excited about it too. I know a lot of you guys ask for updates on him a lot, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, things are just going really well in here. Everyone's doing great and I couldn't be happier. I can't wait to see how this room continues to evolve. I still have some more upgrades and changes that I want to do. So make sure you guys stick around to see all of that because it'll definitely be fun in my opinion. I think it'll be fun. 
I've also had a few people ask about my viper geckos because um, I mentioned in a reptile room video a while back that I was planning on getting some to put in this cage here. Uh, not really any update on them yet. I'm still waiting for them. Uh, the cage is obviously all set up and ready though. Um, all the succulents in here have been doing really well. I got the water dish in here. Obviously it's empty because there's no animals living in here yet, but the cage is ready for them whenever they finally come in, but I'm still waiting on them and I don't have any sort of like estimated date yet because they are coming from another country. So it's like a whole process. But hopefully they will be here soon because I would really, really love to get these guys in their home. I'm still really happy with the way that this cage turned out, so I can't wait to see how the geckos will like it once I finally get the chance to add them in here. So I think that's all for my little reptile room update video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Medusa again and seeing Rocky since you guys hardly ever see him. Hopefully you enjoyed all of this. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. It will be in the description below. Also just a reminder, to everyone pet fest tickets are on sale now there's going to be so many creators going you do not want to miss it it's going to be so much fun pet fest tickets will not be available at the door you have to buy them beforehand if you want to get a ticket so make sure you get them vip is already all sold out so if you want to get your general admissions tickets make sure you do it now the link will be in my description below and just for those of you who don't know Pet Fest is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona on June 22nd. There's going to be over 20 different YouTube creators, some really awesome creators, so definitely come out and see me and everyone else. It'll be so much fun, so make sure you buy your tickets. All of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this update video, and I will see you all again shortly.